Yeah, yeah. 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 so this is um, probably 50 years old. It's, um, it's crazy paving. It's a porous sandstone that's been joined together with cement. And, um, and it's just um, over its 50 year life, obviously, degraded. And, uh, and we're just looking to try to lift the the whole place, you know, yeah, with, a, with a new surface. It'd be great to know what your options were when you're looking around. There's no way to repair a, a surface like this. Um, the only way to repair crazy paving that's got to this extent is to rip it up and yeah. do it again. You'd be cheaper to rip it up and do it again rather than, you know, try to repair it. So, um, this is, um, I was excited when I saw the product and um, and I'm hoping it's going to work for us uh, in, this, in this particular solution. Normal paving? Looked at yeah, looked at overlaying in in lots of different ways, overlaying with with lots of different surfaces, tiles, bricks. You know, um, looked at all of the overlaying solutions. Everything that we looked at was with a cement based um, sub layer. Yep. Um, anything that we put down in in that sort of style, where it's a cement based rigid um, product, is going to crack if we go over. Um, something like this. Wait, you mentioned before the, the clay and sub, sub The rock that we've got under here is, is quite solid and, uh, and other than the rock it's a really hard clay so hopefully there's not too much movement but you're always going to get movement and that's one of the reasons why um, going for a resin based product um, yeah. which uh, is, is a better solution um, than, 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 yeah, rigid, than sort of something rigid. rigid yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little, just a little bit more give and hopefully we get a lot more life out of it. Happened. Just to check how you found out about this originally. Um, a lot of googling. Yeah. <laughs> so, online. so it wasn't word of mouth. It, it really was. Um, yeah, it really yeah. was online. And what I was doing I was looking for solutions to overlay um, existing paper. Yeah. And that was that was what led me to that website. And then being a resin based product and me working, you know, um, in engineering and you know and studying a lot of naval architecture and. The, the, the resins that they use in boat building and fiberglassing is something that I I think doesn't get enough you know uh, uses. Yeah. So with uh, with sort of cement based pebble, uh, once you get a bit of loose pebble and then uh, then you get this cement exposed to the sun that becomes brittle. Mm. And then the rain comes down, you've got puddles on the surface and friction from the car wheels. So yeah. over it's got time, to break down over time. More and more you see loose stone. Yeah. Um, definitely being fully porous, you're not getting that puddling on the driveway. So that means no uh, friction based erosion. Uh, but also, the, again, that UV doesn't uh, ever hit the binding agent, which is below the surface of the stone, because we're laying it 16 mil thick. The choice of colour was Penunga in the end? It was in the end, yeah. We, we were going to go for and try and match the the colour of the sandstone, we were initially thinking creams um, because we went to have a look at uh, on your website, you've got a lot of lists of previous jobs, yep. which was uh, important for me making a decision to use this product too because I've since gone around and had a look at a few driveways that have been done years ago and still looking like they were done yesterday. Fantastic. And that's, um, that's a, I think, probably the most crucial thing to make a decision to use this product for me because um, I don't want to put it down and then and, and have no no guarantees. I'm not sure where it's going to crack or not yes, in, yeah. in the future. But having seen jobs that have been done years ago and then you know uh, go out and look at them is is a fantastic Was sort of feature on the website. So when you you mentioned the, uh, how well the driveways hold up, it's precisely because the design of the product is. Uh, uh, avoiding those main factors of erosion. I think it just doesn't get enough publicity, this sort of stuff. I think once more people like me start using it in this sort of an application, yeah. I think I think it'll probably become more mainstream and it won't be so unusual. Yeah. Um, the exposed ag was was a was a bit more expensive. Than yeah, so it's it, it's double, um, at least double what this is going to be, and it's going to give you a similar look. So the, the this stuff is a, it's a natural sort of a look, um, which is what we're going for. Um, and the, the problem is with doing anything other than an overlay, um, the, the next thing was the mess that you get yourself into. So ripping it all I've up. Got, yeah, ripping it all up and then living in it. 
So we've got two little kids and a dog, and anything that's out here goes straight into the house. Right. Um, yeah. So including loose stone. <laughs> yeah, including yeah. including loose stone, including mud. Um, so this this option is an option that can be done in a day or two days, um, and it's. Um, and, and it's it's a clean solution because you're living with um, something that, that that really it's it's acceptable. It's not messy. It's not dirty. We just want a new. Um, we just want to lift, lift the look of the whole place. Yeah, and get, in the end, um, yeah, my wife's decided to go with with this colour um, simply to try and match the trimmings around the eaves of the house on the shed. Um, uh, we're trying going to try to match that a little bit. Well, that's awesome. Well, look, the guys are coming back on Monday, so we're really yeah. excited to. See how uh, things looking come forward along. to seeing it, uh, seeing it done next and week. You're going away on holiday, so, <laughs> yeah, you're, so you're gonna come back into a new house. So <laughs> it'll be like just like a, a, a homemaker when you guys come back in. You know? And so we look forward to, to uh, catching up with you again. Yeah, no cheers. cheers. Yeah, wow, much brighter, uh, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, it's really um, lifted the, the look of the whole place. It just sort of made the, the house an old house. Um, yeah. You know, we need a little, a little bit of love and a face and, and it's exactly what it's done. So, no, we're really happy with, um, with the look of the product, the colour. Yes. I think it's really complimentary to the bricks and the, um, the, the trim. And the trim around the um, around the architraves and the eaves and that's sort of what we're trying to manage. And you go away and over the period of a day this was done, um, one day to set and then um, you're left with just, you know, smooth and clean and brand new. Yeah, um, no so, bins, no run through the house. Yeah, and you don't have all of, all of the trades and I mean, if you, if you did have to form up and concrete all of this, um, the tiles or whatever, um, you're talking weeks of having a lot of people in your house and uh, and a lot of mess and yeah. all of that mess with kids and the dog stuck in your house. In the house um, yeah. So one of, one, I know it sounds silly, but one of the major reasons was just the ease, ease of installation, yeah, convenience of, of, of having it done and yeah. uh, moving on with your life.